everybody, this is Tambiota, and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time I have Power of the Primes, Voyager Class, Terracon, Hunger. So, uh, this guy right here very much resembles uh, uh, engineering from, uh, let's see, Combiner War Silverbolt. Uh, it says it's supposed to be a new figure. Uh, it just has shared engineering. Um, so, as you can see, here's the figure here. Here's his alt mode. Uh, here is his um, Enigma of Combination. I, I know I've been saying it wrong in some of my past videos. I was saying it like Enigma of Transformation, I think I was calling it. Um, but that's uh, yeah, Enigma of Combination. It looks very similar to, I think, Star Screams, where it has those little pieces that come out on the top. Uh, he has new feet. Uh, those are new that very much look like a helmet, like an old G1 helmet. Like you could take one of the old, um, not old, uh, you could take one of the uh, uh, Titan Masters and pop them in there and it would make almost a helmet. I, I don't know if that was, <clears throat> I don't know if that was supposed to be like an homage or something to uh, like a throwback or something, but it's not... I think it's not what his uh, what his head would look like as a uh, as a Terragon as a Terracon or as a Abominus. So it, it looks more like um, like Bruticus or something. So all right, so let's look at the rest of the box here. We have a a picture of uh, combined mode right here. Then we come along to the back, and you can see what the heck. Where's his head at? <laughs> There's no head right here. Hmm. Strange. No head. No head there. Uh, there's a head here, I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they changed the head or something. <laughs> That's really weird. It's really weird that they that they took those out. So, um, it says it takes 16 steps to transform him. Uh, prime armor. So it looks like they attach to the arms. Some of the other primes, not the primes, uh, yeah, some of the other primes. Here's this little bio snippet here, if you want to read that at your own leisure. All right, so, um, yeah, this video right here is going to be strictly focusing on figure itself. Uh, so we're going to go through each of the modes, uh, check out uh, its strengths, its weaknesses, um, things that we find out with it. And then tomorrow we'll come back and I'll show transformation. So... Uh, do look forward to that. If you haven't already subscribed, now is a very good time to go ahead and do that. So uh, so you'll be notified whenever uh, a new video pops up. So let's uh, go ahead and take a moment and uh, get them out of the box, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and here we have Hunger out of the box and in his robot mode, because this is the mode that he comes in. So um, go ahead and take a look at this. It does feel very familiar with the way that the arms look and things, but uh, if you take a look, you can tell that there are uh, different details that are on it. So basically every piece that's on here was remolded. So I don't think there was anything that was reused. And unfortunately I don't have a silver bolt anymore, so I can't look to see if like these pieces and stuff were, were reused or anything like that. But he does look fairly well. Uh, the only thing that I have an issue with are, are with the stickers. Uh, number one, this sticker right here, because it is not, not centered at all. And I don't want to take that off and put it back on because I know probably more than likely it's going to rip or it's not going to stick whenever you put it back on. And then this sticker right here, I like this idea that they did right here. It's supposed to resemble a, uh, one of the rub stickers. So that's why it has this on there. I wish that they would have cut off the silver pieces right here. Um, I don't know. I, so you got some stickers here. Uh, I think that there's some, yeah, some stickers on his head. The knees, the issue that I have with this guy are that the knees and the, uh, the, the feet down here where the head is, uh, are very weak. It's very, feels very weak. Like, you know, you could just, yeah, he would fall back and then see the, the, they just, they do all kinds of bending, and it's, yeah. So 
So they try to add articulation into it. I just wish they would have added like some type of um, of ratchet or something that would have made it stronger. So it just it wouldn't do that. But oh well. So here, let's look. You can see this is the combination. This is the uh, the chest for combined mode. All right, so for articulation to come up straight to the head, you got a left and right, uh, up and down. It looks like a ball joint. Uh, you come here, oh, that is a click. Okay, that's a ratchet, so you got forward and back. You have out to the side, that's a ratchet also. Uh, I think they did that because this becomes the uh, the legs. Um, you have a knee joint, an elbow joint right here. It does lock into place if you extend it all the way. Um, nothing in the arms or in the, um, the hands come here to the uh, to the legs you have uh, your hip joints right here so you have a forward and a back and it is a light ratchet a very light ratchet you come out to the side that's a light ratchet also uh, you have your twist right here hmm. then you have your knees and it's you have two different joints at the knee so I don't know which one is which but and then down here you have all kinds of articulation so you have a forward you have a back you have a left and right rocking motion. You can also bend each one of these pieces, each one of his upper jaw and lower jaws, I guess. I don't know if that's it's probably strictly for uh, um, transformation, but you know you can use it to your advantage for any kind of pose that you want to use also. Oh my gosh. stickers right here so uh, this is something that I read his enigma chamber is actually right here this is the the chest so you open that up and you can put this in there and it's actually complete completely hidden you can close that back up and you wouldn't see it So for his armors, you can just take them. Uh, it shows them on his arms. So I assume whenever you attach them to his arms and they become some kind of gun like that. But I think, you know, with this right here, it kind of looks a little funny. All right, so we're going to take a moment, and uh, um, when we come back, we'll have him in his beast mode. All right, so we're back, and here's Hungar in his uh, in his beast mode. I, I do actually like it. I, uh, I like this mode. Um, they did a, a good job on reusing, reusing engineering to make this guy, and... I, I don't know, bravo. So uh, I think they really did a really well, a really good job. And um, so you can tell when you come down here, um, this is where the uh, the combiner head is. And it's exactly like how um, Silverbolts was, where the, the head comes out of here. So exactly the same. So for articulation with this guy, you have a, a lot of stuff up here in the head and it's mainly the feet articulation. Uh, you have this back here, which is mainly the hand articulation. So you have, we'll come back here first. You have uh, the, the joints back here. You have a twist right here or a bend right here. And then you can't really do anything. Well, I guess you could do that, but um, you can move the tail up and down a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, this These feet right here, uh, they can only go forward and back. It's a pin joint and there's nothing else. Now when you come to this portion right here, there's a lot going on. So you have your, your hip joint, uh, you have the twist right here, you have two different joints right here, then you have a bunch of different joints in here. So you have the joints to move the head up and down, you have a joint so you can turn the head left and right, and then you have a joint for each part of the mouth so you can open the bottom jaw and you can open open the upper jaw 
So you can get a lot of posability out of these guys. Um, so I do, I do like this figure. This is a, um, it kind of um, surprised me. I, I didn't think that I was like this because um, I don't know. I just thought it was going to be a rehash of. Uh, of Silverbolt, and it's, I think they did a better job with this guy than they did, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to agree with me, um, than they did with uh, Skylinks, when they made Skylinks. Skylinks, I wish they would have just made him a, uh, a leader class character, and they would have made him two pieces, and um, so they could have had two pieces that joined together um, like he was supposed to be. And I think that they really missed something when they didn't do that. So. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video review. Uh, what I'm gonna do is at the very end for everybody that uh, watched, oh, hey, something else that I forgot. I almost forgot it again. Um, so I do have his, uh, his art card here. And here is his instructions. So at least I remembered now. Um, so back to what I was discussing before. Everybody that watched to the end, um, I'll go ahead and uh, where I usually put up uh, uh, previous videos and, and uh, what uh, YouTube thinks that you should watch and my Patreon link, I'll have in there his combined mode. So uh, enjoy that. Uh, that'll be up for approximately five seconds. So. Uh, this has been Tambiota. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.